Hi, I'm Dominic, a PhD student from the LMU in Munich and the first author of the paper Towards an Optimal Subspace for Chemines. In the paper, we propose subchemines, a simple and elegant extension of Lloyd's classic chemines algorithm, which is able to perform a simultaneous linear dimensionality reduction. Subchemines has many desirable properties. It is fast, easy to implement. It can easily be adapted to many different situations and frameworks because it only uses basic operations. Further, it is compatible to many existing extensions of chemines. So, how does subchemines work? Let us consider a simple 5-dimensional toy dataset. At first glance, the features look quite unimodal and the scatter matrices arguably do not reveal clearly separated cluster structures. Usually, a first choice for dimensionality reduction is to use PCA. Yet, as it is often the case, PCA does not help us in our situation to identify cluster structures for this example. Applying k-means using, for instance, the elbow method indicates the existence of three clusters. However, even with this information, we cannot see a clear structure that is still hidden in the data. This situation completely changes when we use our proposed method sub means Within each iteration step, sub means rotates the data based on the current cluster partition. Then it splits this new feature space into two orthogonal subspaces. The first subspace represents the current clustering and we therefore call it the clustered space. In our example, the space is highlighted in yellow. The second space is the complementing space and it is assumed to be unimodal with no cluster structure containing only noisy features. The dimensionality of these two subspaces is also optimized at the same time. As we can see, after only a few iterations, subk means is able to rotate and partition the data such that the clustered space reveals a prominent cluster structure and contains only relevant features. The noise space, on the other hand, does not show any cluster structure and is unimodal. So, I hope this small example has made you curious and if you want to learn more about subk means, I invite you to my talk at the 2017 KDD conference. See you in Halifax!